time for the big reveal. Drum roll, please. Anyway, back to the video. I'm making a tie-dye duvet cover and so bedspread and pillowcases for my brother. Let's talk about the dyes. The dyes are Dylon hand dyes, or these small packs are. These dyes um, really aren't very expensive and they go quite a long way actually. Uh, I got these online for like, I think yeah, one pound each, and I got them on Amazon. You probably do easily 10 t-shirts, you know, 10 tie-dye t-shirts with one, one of these packs. These can last for ages, so these are good. Recommend these, buying these. These are my receptacles of dye. They are old distilled water bottles. These have to be replaced after a certain number of years because the plastics, they start to degrade under certain conditions, especially in contact with water. And so I use them for tie-dyeing and they're absolutely perfect for it, really. They are just... I couldn't think of a bath. We used to use these before it went, before it got big, man, before we got huge, man. Um, we used to use these little bottles, but then we were doing quite a few shirts and stuff, so we needed a bigger one, so we got these. But um, these are still fine. If you're just doing your own, if you're doing one shirt or, you know, two things, you can use these. These are what we're going to be using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrub up, put my gloves on. I'm going to grab my dye, and I'm going to go and fill these up with the colours that I want. Okay then, welcome to my bathroom. First things first, wear gloves. Just wear gloves, like I don't even need to. Main piece of kit here, most important thing, is your funnel. Your funnel just makes your life so much easier. Some of the colours here I'm, good, I'm already contending on using. I've got some navy, and I think this is, this is a tulip red, but I think this might be quite a nice colour. And I've got some blue, and I think this is either grey or purple, so. But no, so we're going to just test the colours. That navy is good. So add a bit more dye and a bit more water, try and keep it the same. That's quite a nice red actually. Goes quite well. That's the. Uh, I should add, all these dyes are water soluble, so they will wash off your bathtub if you've got porcelain, you know, or plastic bathtub like this would be fine. That's the blue. That's. See that, that colour of blue there is far too light, but that will just wash out, it, it really needs to be quite bright. This is just the dregs, so we can't, use, we can't actually use that, so just drain it that way. Let's start with the burlesque red in the empty bottle. So I happen to know that this is quite a dark, strong dye, but I really want that, so I'm going to put quite a lot in anyway. Usually the darker the colour, the less you need. So yellow, for example, you need lots of dye. Lots of powder. Right, that's a lot. That's quite a bit I'm putting in there. I'm going to put that in. If you can, you want to make sure that your funnel's dry. So that you can get it. Because if it's wet, it can clog up and you just have to poke it through and it can just be really annoying. But you can see I'm just tapping it in there. There is me dye in there. Right, so let's put the water in. Put the funnel back in and turn the tap slowly. Things it's quite a nice deep purpley colour. Pretty cool. I can actually feel this getting warm. Some of these dyes when you mix them with water create an, an exothermic reaction so that means they emit heat emit heat. So I'm gonna just give this a quick shake. Now, I always like to do a preliminary colour test. That's really cool. Anyway, let's get this cleaned up and get dyeing. Tie dyeing, that is not done. So I've got my big double duvet spread that I'm going to be dyeing. Spread out as best I can. 
over my bed. I'm going to go for the normal spiral. I'm going to start in the middle, or what I think is the middle. It's probably a bit more middle. And I'm just going to start twisting like this. And you see, my fingers in there, nice and tight. Twist, and I can see it's pretty good. I'm playing fairly even. These outside edges, you can sort of like flap around like that. Right, so that's the first step. Next step, I've got some large rubber bands here. Oh, okay, yeah, I've got one now. Um, so, what I'm going to do is get my rubber bands like this. I'm going to start, I'm going to grab one of these flappy bits. So I don't want these, these sort of corners, is what they are, um, you know, hanging off. And I'm going to start at one and go all the way around to the opposite one, like that. So now you can see I've got these two flappy bits. And then I'm going to get, I'm going to try and get it as halfway as I can. And then Nella's going to give me her one back. Thank you, Nella. And I'm going to do the same again, but this way around, so like that. And we'll start there. Is that what do you think for Nella? Oh, hey, no, I need, don't break it, I need it. No, no, I need it. Okay, cool. So, that's my thing split up into segments. You can see there are four segments now. So, each of these segments will be its own spirals on the die. It's quite cool, it's quite a cool effect, I guess you'll see at the end. But that's how I'm going to do it. You can just shove die all over it and it looks really cool anyway. But I'm going to go segment, segment, segment with different coloured dies. They'll blend in, they'll sort of slight blend between each colour, but then you get quite defined in the colours on there. Nell's having a mad one. Nell, are you chasing your day or? What's happening, darling? Nella's a very nice cat, but she's not very clever, are you, babe? You know, you're not very clever. Anyway, back to the video. Right, so, we have our bedspread wrapped up and got into nice little sections. So, I'm going to start off with the n -n 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 navy. I'm going to do one whole segment in navy and then I'm going to do one in burgundy and I'm going to do small ones in black and blue. Yeah, so let's go. I'm just squeezing it on. Now you really don't have to be that neat with this, but what you want to do is squeeze it all on, get quite a lot in there, try and get inside all these folds. This is why I like these bottles because um, they are. Uh, allow you to like squeeze in like this. Anyway, I'm just gonna get quite a lot on there. Right. Give that a squeeze. A bit more on there. I'm squeezing it to just sort of allow the die to soak for a bit more. I'm gonna flip it over. Oh wow. We've already come through almost all the way in some places. That's good. Sweet. I was so Ideally what you want is both sides to look from the outside covered in with dye. Um, but we're doing pretty well already. You can see I'm really not being very careful, you really don't have to be. Um, these outside bits need very little dye, so you can just squeeze that in. But yeah, that's one section done. Let's move on to the next. So, this burgundy is nearly done. Pretty good, give it a squeeze, make sure it's going to through. Cool. And honestly, the messier it is, the cooler it's going to end up looking. So this is fine. I'm, I'm happy with how this is going thus far. Right. Now, I want this section here to be pink to blend with the blue. And then I'm going to do the grey blending with the burgundy. So let's get going, let's do that. Got this very, this is the tulip red, I think, this one.
And I'm going to do this side, no, this side, no, this side, with the grey on the back. I'm wary, I don't want to use too much of this, so I'm just going to be quite, this is going to be obviously quite dark, so I'm just not going to put too much in. So yeah, Hannah and I, we used to make uh, tie dye together and actually made one of these funny business cards. This is actually quite cool in itself. This is the business card. It says RC Tie Dye, which is Riley Casey Tie Dye, because that's our names. That's my um, name, and I'm probably going to have to blur out my number, but there you go. It's my new number. This is actually etched onto 0.8 mil birch ply. Pretty durable. We made a few of these. Hannah's ones were different shape to mine and obviously had her details on and my ones. So Hannah's ones were um, with one round corner and the rest pointy whereas my ones were with three rounds and one pointy. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that was the tie-dye thing. I think it's really fun, really easy to do. Anyone can try it. 